All right, Christian, uh, what does it mean to you to be picked to the preseason all-conference first team? Uh, you know, it's a blessing. You know, uh, it's, it's proved that all my hard work pay off. You know, uh, just I just want to give a special shout-out to my coaches and my teammates and everybody that goes along with the first team. I mean, it's all glory to them. I mean, I got to give respect to them because they're the reason why I got picked. You know, you had a huge year last year. Where did you work the hardest to improve this season? Uh, expanding my uh, range with shooting, you know, three-point shooting and being able to be a better all-around player, defense defense and offense, you know, being able to be a better teammate, you know, be getting other people involved, being a leader on and off the court. What have you seen from uh, the team so far in practice uh, that makes you excited about the season? Um, just the energy and the atmosphere is better, you know. Um, all the, everybody comes through hard, hard work every day. Everybody comes to play. Everybody just love each other more. Just the atmosphere and the energy around the program is just unbelievable. Talk a little bit about some of the, the new guys that are going to stand out this year. Um, you know, we got four freshmen. I think all four of them are going to be good in their own special way. You got you got Ty, who's they got a bit strong body. They can play versatile. He's very versatile. You got Flan, who's athletic, long. You know, probably going to be one of our best defenders. Uh, you got Didi. He call him like a little respite. You know, uh, he's fast, quick. You know, that's our uh, that's our uh, point guard right there. And then we got. Um, you got uh, Sean, you know, that's very versatile. He can defend, he can score, he can shoot it, you know. And then you got um, Travis, a Juco transfer that can really shoot the ball. You know, he can just shoot the ball at a high level. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then you got uh, JC, which is a grad transfer. You know, he's going to gonna play some good big minutes for us. You know, he brings a lot of energy and leadership to the team. How about uh, your experience today with the photo shoot? Was that kind of cool? Yeah, it was good. You know, it was a good, a good experience. You know, get to uh, hang out with the other guys around the league. You know, it was a good experience. You know, I never did it before, so yeah, it was good. Coach, uh, preseason polls or preseason polls? Uh, I guess, uh, what have you seen from your team that, that has you looking forward to this season? You know, I always look forward to, to um, using that as a motivation. We've, since I've been the head coach, we've been picked everywhere. Yeah, we've been picked first a bunch of times. We've been picked in the middle. We've been picked at the bottom, and. Uh, you know, it really, it really has no bearing on, on, on what we're doing now. It's, it's simply a reflection of what they thought about our team last year. And um, we know wh what we're about. Uh, we know the work that we've put in. We know the energy that we've had and the positiveness and the, and the competitiveness. And we know how much uh, our returners have improved and how much our, our new guys are adding uh, to our overall culture and our overall pursuit of excellence. And, so we're excited. Uh, they got to pick you somewhere, and and uh, we're just excited about where we are and 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 how we're progressing. And uh, it's just um, it's just an indication of what they thought about our team last year. So uh, no worries. Uh, we we know what we got. What areas do you feel like you guys will most improve in this year? We put a lot of emphasis on the defensive end. Uh, we've we've spent a lot of time there. We've recruited towards that. We've talked about that a lot. Uh, we felt like last year that was an area that kept us from competing more favorably within the league, uh, and and so that was we've we've spent a ton of time. Our offense is struggling a little bit because of that. Uh, we're we're not quite as far along offensively as we typically are, um, but we know that can come. We know we're we have some guys that can really shoot the ball and really create. And, so we've really worked hard uh, improving defensively and has involved hiring Rick Duckett and, and giving him a lot of leeway uh, defensively in, in, in what, we're, what we're doing. Uh, a lot of time in the weight room, a lot of time in conditioning, a lot of time in changing our mindset from being an offensive oriented uh, team to be a defensive oriented where we can hang our hat on, on defense and rebounding. So we're hoping that, that, um, that will, will, will uh, have a lot of improvement as the season. That area will, will improve a lot in that area. It's certainly in our scrimmages thus far, inner squad scrimmages, we've seen a lot of improvement on the defensive end. As far as a couple of individuals go, obviously you know the kind of player Christian is, uh, picked to the preseason all-conference first team. Where have you, and uh, as a coaching staff, challenged him to get better? On the defensive end, we've challenged Christian uh, to be a more complete player and just not be a scorer. Uh, to, to help us do the things that we feel are the small things that, that help you not just compete in games but win games. And to Christian's credit, he's been amazing. Uh, he has been like a sponge and has soaked it all in. He's had to adjust a few things. He's playing with better players this year, and so he, he doesn't have as much offensive responsibility as he did. And, um, and, and so but we've asked him to improve, uh, certainly uh, defensively, creating, uh, uh, handling the ball a little bit more, 
uh, playing him a little bit at the point, uh, creating for others as well as creating for himself, um, doing the small things that it takes to win college basketball games. And Christian's been phenomenal, particularly the last three weeks. His attitude, his effort, uh, his willingness to adjust and change has just been phenomenal. Javis is your elder statesman, and he's you know he's had some some good seasons. He's shown flashes. How do you think he can maybe put it all together this year? We're counting on Javis a lot. Uh, Javis needs to have a, an improved year uh, for us to 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 climb in the standings, and we think he's certainly very capable of that. Uh, Javis is is an experienced veteran that has played a ton of college basketball over his four years at CSU. He's been part of a championship team. He's been part of a team that has struggled a little bit. So. Um, we're, we're excited to see how he does. Uh, he's put in a summer's worth of work that not many people across the country put in. Uh, he, co he committed to staying in Charleston in, in, in May, June, and July, and has worked. I mean, he's been relentless in his effort uh, to improve as a player and as a leader, as a more vocal leader, and we've seen a lot of gro growth from Javis. And lastly, uh, Cortez uh, probably played some of his better ball of the year at the end of last season. Uh, what do you think uh, he'll be able to do in his second year at this level to improve? We're excited about his improvement. Uh, we're asking Cortez to be a more vocal leader, uh, to open up and to, to share. He's got a lot of wisdom and, and a lot of experience, and, and he's won a lot of championships. Uh, so we're, we're asking him uh, to really um, to, to step up and to lead. Uh, we know he can score. We know he can defend. We know he's a veteran of the Big South now. He's been through it. Uh, he was really, really good in February, and, and uh, we're, we're counting on that upward trend uh, from Cortez. We're, we're also really excited about some of our young guys and the mix that they, that they bring into our program is going to be exciting.